So our goal with the public access bleeding control class uh, is to train not just the emergency responders, the EMTs, the paramedics, the police officers, uh, but also the general public on uh, bleeding control techniques using tourniquets and gauze and wound packing techniques uh, to stop major hemorrhage and preserve life. So I'm going to take my tourniquet, slide it over the simulated injury, okay, really high up. And the key to success whenever you're putting a tourniquet on is this first step. You want to make this strap right here as tight as you possibly can before you even proceed forward. So I'm going to grab a hold of it and I'm going to hold it down as hard as I can. All right, then I'm going to turn this piece here. This is called a windlass. All right, I'm going to turn it until I see my lights turn off on the mannequin. So it's important for uh, general public, not just the responders, to take um, this kind of bleeding control uh, type of training. It's a, it's a really simple procedure, putting a tourniquet on or applying a bandage or packing a wound um, that only takes a couple of seconds if you do it correctly. Uh, it's absolutely going to save, uh, save somebody's life.